finding choices, using or to connect different alternatives. Hello, English language learners. Today, we are going to delve into an important aspect of conversational English that will help make your dialogues richer and more nuanced. Specifically, we will discuss how to use the simple word or to present different alternatives when responding to requests or offering suggestions. The ability to offer alternatives in conversation is a fundamental part of efficient communication and or is a handy tool to do just that. Let's get started. Before we delve into practical examples, let's understand the function of or. The conjunction or is used to connect different possibilities or choices in a sentence. When we use or, we give the listener an option to choose one thing from several alternatives. For example, consider the sentence. I can't decide whether to have pizza or pasta for dinner. In this sentence, or is used to connect two different alternatives, pizza and pasta. When someone makes a request, sometimes you might not be able to fulfill it directly. In such cases, you can offer alternatives using or. This allows you to suggest different ways to help or different possibilities. Consider this conversation. Can you help me move on Saturday? I'm sorry, I can't help on Saturday. Would you prefer I help on Friday evening or Sunday morning? In this conversation, the person couldn't fulfill the original request, but used or to offer two alternatives. You can also use or when making offers to people, presenting them with a range of choices. For example, would you like to have tea or coffee? Here, the speaker is offering two options, tea or coffee, for the listener to choose from. Let's practice with a few more examples. 1. Do you want to watch a movie or play a game tonight? 2. Should we go for a run or to the gym for our workout? 3. Are you interested in learning guitar or piano? In each of these sentences, or is used to provide alternatives for the listener to consider. And that's it for today. We've learned how to use or to connect different alternatives in English conversation. Remember, offering alternatives is a crucial part of effective communication. It gives the person you're speaking with choices and flexibility, enhancing the interactive nature of the dialogue. Practice using or in your daily conversations and see how it changes the dynamic. We hope this lesson has been helpful. Keep practicing, and we'll see you in our next video.